malnutrition is a global catastrophic. Malnutrition in children, adolescents, and women is a major concern. A country with on 60 million people named Bangladesh is badly suffering from malnutrition greatly. Despite progress, the levels of malnutrition in Bangladesh are amongst the highest in the world. And this is a major cause of death and disease in children and women. The problem is more serious in Bangladesh where poverty and illiteracy are predominating. In addition to causing individual tragedies like maternal and child mortality, malnutrition exacts heavy cost from the healthcare system through excess morbidity, increased premature delivery and elevated risk of heart disease and diabetes. The economic consequences of Bangladesh malnutrition problem are found resulting in lost productivity and reduced intellectual and learning capacity. The immediate cause of malnutrition is insufficient micronutrients, in particular vitamin A, iron, iodine, and zinc deficiencies. Broader cause of malnutrition include maternal malnutrition, poor quality health services, and insufficient infant feeding practices. The World Bank estimates that Bangladesh is ranked first in the world of the number of children suffering from malnutrition. In Bangladesh, 26% of the population are undernourished and 46% of the children suffers from moderate to severe underweight problem. 33% of children under 5 years old are stand. According to UNICEF, child malnutrition in Bangladesh is amongst the highest in the world. Two-thirds of the children under the age of 5 are undernourished and about 60% of them who are under 6 are a stand. Malnutrition is passed on through generation as malnourished mothers give birth to malnourished children. One unit dies in Bangladesh every 3 to 4 minutes. 1 lakh and 20,000 units die in every year. According to BDACES 2011, the prevalence of malnutrition in under 5 children are as follows. 41% children are stand, 15% are severely stand, 70% children are wasted, and 4% are severely wasted. 36% children are underweight, and 10% are severely underweight. Nutrimilk is an organization established by three university students and an expert. Nutrimilk is a uh, unique process of preparing milk from soybean. We focus mainly on two things. First one is to eradicate malnutrition problem in Bangladesh, and second one is to offer highly nutrient milk with cheaper price. Nutrimilk solves the malnutrition problem through three dynamic strategies. First one is providing nutritious milk. Soy is naturally high in uh, essential fatty acids, proteins, fiber, uh, minerals, and vitamins. These nutrients provide energy and keep the body functioning at its optimum level. Nutri uh, and Nutrimilk nutri aim to provide solution to the malnutrition problem by providing its multiple features incorporated milk. The main features of this product, first feature is balanced diet. It contains proteins, minerals, vitamins, and other ingredients in sufficient amount and works as a balanced diet for people of all ages. And second feature is uh, lactose free. Children and women with uh, allergic problems can take this milk easily. And third one is uh, reduced blood cholesterol. Nutrimilk is able to banish the lab, uh, bad cholesterol because it contains less thin. And fourth feature is strengthen blood vessel integrity. Fifth feature is prevent postmenopausal syndromes. And the last but not the least is prevent osteoporosis. A cup of Nutrimilk usually contains about 8 grams of protein and significant amounts of vitamin A, D, B1, B2, and calcium. It also fights stress, help digestion, and improve cell reproduction.
If any person takes one cup neutral milk every day, within one month, his or her health will improve dramatically and will have a sound health. Number two, affordability. To think about people's income, neutral milk designed its product contains more nutritional value and affordable to buy. Neutral milk is 35% less costly than those of cow's milk and existing soy milk available in the superstores. For example, prices of 1 liter cow's milk is $1 and 1 liter other milk is $5 whereas neutral milk costs only $0.65 per liter. Number 3. Accessibility. Our marketing and distribution strategy ensures to reach our product to our target customer. For accessibility, we have easy and comfortable ways, likely Guala, local milk distributors, village level stationery shops, and further, it will distribute its product through district wise representative and move on them so that our targeted customer can easily get beauty milk everywhere. Let's talk about the product specification of Nutrimilk. The core component of Nutrimilk is soybean. Nutrimilk collects soybean as a raw materials from different saban in Bangladesh. The key component of Nutrimilk is crushed soybean, sweetener, spices, flavor, and salt. The input output ratio is from 1 kg soybean, we can produce 7 liters of milk, so the input output ratio is 1 is to 7. Life shelf of, of Nutrimilk. After testified by the Institute of Food and Nutrition, University of Dhaka, it suggested that after 10 days of production, it may not be applicable to sell the milk to the consumers. So we strictly followed the rules. But we have alternative plan that is called ultra high temperature, that means UST compensate plan. But it has a big cost, that's why we will set it up afterwards. And it will increase after about three months. Current capacity of production in new to milk. Currently, we are to produce 200 liter of milk with little automation daily. With semi-automation, we can produce 10,000 liters milk in two batches daily. So we can sufficiently meet the demand and thus help millions of poor people. Bean wastes. Per kilogram soybean exists about 700 kilogram wastes. So we can get an amount of amount to sell those wastes to the agro-based poultry daily and fisheries farms as they as they are used for safe farms. To provide new to milk to our targeted customer, we have four distribution strategy. Guala, that means local level milk distributor. Second one is village based stationery shop and third one is district wise representative and fourth one is mobile van. These are the more convenient and comfortable way to reach our product to our customer. Let's talk about the promotional strategy of Nutrimil. We have four strategies. The first one is nutrition care bands. That means we have some bands that provide the information related to the nutrition to make awareness to the rural people. The second one is advocating social and religious leaders. The third one is community cable channel. The last one is Upujala family planning health care. We make a collaboration to the Upujala health care that, that those guys promote our product to the rural peoples. By those promotional strategies, we can trap the untrapped market.